Still led by the Golden Emperor alongside the Dalek Council, the Daleks finally perfected the Dalek Flying Saucer comic, the Amaryl Challenge, and forged an interstellar, and later intergalactic, Dalek Empire. TV, the Dalek's master plan, their first target being Alviga, the planet closest to Skaro. There, they faced opposition from its plant-like inhabitants, the Amarils. In the end, a scouting party of Daleks had to be sent to the planet's core to destroy it, which led to the explosion of the entire planet, with the Emperor observing that, what we cannot conquer, we destroy. Comic. The Amaril Challenge. Next, the Daleks headed to the planet Sultouris, where the peaceful ruler Redlin the Wise ignored the warnings of the Prophet Lair about the danger presented by the Daleks. As the Sultourians possessed a dangerous weapon known as the Pentaray which posed a threat even to them, the Daleks initially posed as friendly explorers of space who detest war, to gain their future victims' trust and thereby learn about the full extent of their arsenal. Despite the Daleks' well-laid plans, the Prince Jareth succeeded in regaining the Pentaray just in time to annihilate the Dalek forces who had landed. The Daleks still in orbit were recalled to Skaro before they could foil this counterattack, making Sultouris the first planet the Daleks failed to vanquish. Comic. The Pentaray Factor. Captain Blacker, an MI5 agent, was in possession of a report regarding this invasion by January 1965. TV. The Man from Me.5. The Golden Emperor and the rest of his attack fleet returned to Skaro only to find the Dalek city plunged into chaos by a plague of rust that destroyed Dalek's casing within minutes of their catching it, usually killing the mutant in the process. It eventually surfaced that the rust germ was being carried solely by the Black Dalek leader. Initially resigned to his fate, the Black Dalek was repaired by the Golden Emperor, who could not afford to lose him. Comic. Plague of Death. Whilst the Emperor was distracted by the matter of the plague, a warrior race known as the Monstrons attempted to take over Skaro using their robotic soldiers the Engerbrains. Though they succeeded in destroying the Dalek city, they were unable to permanently subdue the Daleks, and were themselves exterminated when a Dalek sacrificed itself to set off the volcano in which the Monstrons had landed their spacecraft. The Daleks then set about rebuilding their city once more. Comic. The Menace of the Monstrons Shortly after completing the repair work on the city, the Daleks attempted to take over another planet, Auric, which they intended to mine for metals. However, as they were building a space station in orbit around Auric, the Daleks were attacked by the Mechanoids, who first tried to defeat the Daleks covertly by turning them on each other with suspicion rays before being discovered. The Mechanoids proceeded to wage war on the Daleks at full force, declaring themselves supreme and pledging to come to Skaro and destroy it. Comic. Eve of War. Desperate for any edge against the Mechanoids, the Daleks scoured the skies with renewed fervor for any weapons or inventions to use to defeat their enemies if and when they finally came to Skaro. Thus they attempted to rob Phryne of its secrets of invisibility, though they were unsuccessful, only managing to subjugate the planet but losing the secret in the process. Comic. The Archives of Phryne. Shortly thereafter, they had to deal with the threat of the rogue planet, Skardal a seemingly indestructible astral body set on a collision course for Skaro itself. Choosing to kill two birds with one stone, the Golden Emperor found a way to divert the planet's course and send it in the direction of the Mechanoid's home planet. Comic. The rogue planet, however, while trying to disintegrate a dangerous warhead before it landed on their planet, the Daleks ended up accidentally destroying Skardal before it hit the Mechanoids. By then, the Android 2K had been sent by the Zerovians to avert a war between the Daleks and the Mechanoids, which the Zerovians believed would be disastrous for them in the long run, as whichever of the two powers survived would be able to turn its unmitigated attention towards the conquest of Zeros. The robot managed to trick the Mechanoids into believing that destroying the rogue planet had been an intentional declaration of non-aggression from the Daleks, thus averting the war. Comic. Impasse. The launch of the missiles disturbed a nearby Terrakan, which broke through an electric barrier and destroyed several Daleks before trying to eat one of the missiles, which it found to be inedible and tossed away, inadvertently arming it. The Daleks managed to deactivate the missile, and the Terrakan was attacked by a giant electric eel before it could strike again. Comic. The Terrakan Harvest. At one point the Daleks established a colony on Titan. This colony was eventually destroyed when the Daleks drilled too deep and ignited flammable gases beneath Titan's surface. This explosion destroyed the colony and created the rings of Saturn. Pros. Dalek Saturn Probe. 